Welcome to Balloon Twisting with Ashley. Yay! <laughs> I'm going to teach you how to make a couple of simple things, uh, a few simple things, a sword, a dog, and a flower, which are really good basics to have. Uh, you can pretty much please any kid at a party with those. And the dog is really good to know because if you're able to just learn the dog, if you can master the dog, you can kind of make any animal by just changing the proportions. Like making the ears bigger, it would be a bunny. Making the neck longer, it'd be a giraffe and so on. So you'll see what I mean in a second. But um, we'll start with a sword. That's pretty basic. Uh, you can pretty much offer that to just any boy or girl at a party. They love to sword fight each other and they're pretty popular. So we'll start with that. Um, for any balloon that you're making, you are going to want to stretch it out ahead of time. So give it a little stretch like this, a couple of pulls, just so that it softens it up a little bit and then it's less likely to pop. Um, each thing that you're going to make, you're going to blow it up a different fullness depending on what it is that you're making. So for a sword, you want to blow it up all the way. So you just fit the tip of the balloon onto the nozzle of the pump. I'll put up a few pumps for this one. Like I said, we're going to do it all the way. Woo! Don't pop it too, too full because then it'll pop. So just leave like a teeny little bit at the end. Like, let me see, sorta. A little nubbin like that. Um, and then after you pump it up, you wanna give it a burp. Burp, so you go like that. Just let a little bit of air out. Then you tie it off. This can be the part that's a little bit tricky for some people, so if you're having a hard time with it, don't feel bad. Um, just practice, so just wrap it around your finger, tie it in a knot like you would your shoelace or anything. So just tie in a little knot like that. So then you'll have this, just a long stick. Um, now there are two different swords that I make. One of them looks a little questionable, so I like to make a different kind, but um, it's a little bit easier to make this. So I'm going to teach you the questionable one first, and then we'll see if you can do the other one. So first thing you'll do, you'll fold it over one way, and then you fold it back the other way. So you have just sort of an even zigzag like this, and you'll pinch it in the middle, and twist it. So you end up with it like this. Now it's a little crooked, so what you can do is just sort of squeeze it, straighten it out a little bit, just squeeze the air sort of into different areas of the balloon so that you get rid of that little nubbin in the front and the tip and then um, it straightens out a little bit. So you have a sword on guard. But as you can see, mm, if you have nasty people at a party, it's going to be a little questionable. So you can make it like that if that's the only way you can make it, but a kind of cooler way to make it is like this. Again, stretch it out, pump it up all the way, but leaving a teeny little bit so that it doesn't pop. Give it a burp, tie it off. Now this one's a little bit cooler um, and less, you know, whatever you want to call it. Um, this one's more of like a pirate cutlass type thing. So the first thing that you do, you twist off little um, little balls that are probably about an inch, maybe like a thumb width is a good way to judge it, and make six of them. So you go one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, here's the trick. They're gonna unravel when you make them unless you hold the first part and the end part. So you have to be holding either end. So in order to do that, as you saw, I kind of use my body to hold it against me. Um, you can just hold it against your body and it'll help. So once you've got these, make a little balls like that, six of them. Then take the very end, the knot that you have here, and just tie it around this end part here. You don't have to tie it in a knot. You just loop it around a few times just so that it's secure. Just twist it around there. Then you have a little circle opening here. So you just take the end of the sword, put it through that circle, like this, and then just give it a little bend there to give it a shape. And again, you want to just squeeze the air so that it straightens it up a little bit. And then, as a handle, you have a pirate cutlass. Wow. Okay. So those are the two swords. Um, it's up to you. You can make either one. It's totally fine. I prefer the second one, but whichever one is easier for you. Um, okay, let's move on to the dog. So, the dog also requires one balloon, so we'll stretch it out. Now for the dog, you're going to blow it up and leave a little tail of about five inches or so, four or five inches. So you'll blow it up 
Felt like that. See that? Now let a little bit out in a burp. Ooh. Tie it off. Okay, now the dog is super simple. You're gonna make three different bubbles, two ears and a head, then you're gonna make another three bubbles that are a neck and two front legs, then you're gonna make three more bubbles, a neck and two back legs. So it's really easy. You just have to make them a little bit slightly different sizes. So first of all, we're gonna do three bubbles that are about a thumb width again. So one, two, three, and again, you can use your body if your hands aren't big enough to hold them all at once. So you'll have it like this, three bubbles. Now, these two bubbles here, you're gonna twist them together. So you're gonna bend it over here like this, hold it with one hand, and twist these two together a few times. So it'll be like this. See this? So now you have the head, of the nose, and the two ears, you see? Next, you're gonna do a neck and two front legs. So again, same thing, about a thumb, neck, two front legs. Now it'll look like this. Again, you're gonna take these two last bubbles, twist them together. Okay, now you have this. Ears, face, neck, two front legs. Okay, now we're gonna use the rest to make a body and two back legs. So you can make, you can just kind of judge how much you have left because you want at the end just to have a little bit of a tail. So on here I'm gonna give it about, probably about a two thumb body and then to one thumb back legs, approximately. So you'll have it like this, and again, these last two bubbles, twist them together. Okay, and woof, 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 you have a dog. Now, like I was saying earlier, if you master this and you're used to it, then, um, sorry, I don't know what happened. Anyway, okay, if you master this, and you can make a dog, then you can just change the proportions. Let's say a kid wants to have a bunny, then you would just make, you know, a little head, really big ears, and then a smaller body. Or if they wanted a giraffe, then you would, you know, use an orange balloon, make a small head and a really long neck, and then a smaller body. Or um, a cat, you could do the same thing and just have it, ha make it with small head, small everything, and then a really long tail, for instance. So, anyway, <laughs> but that's all you need for now is a dog. Okay. Now for the flower. Brace yourself. Okay, this is a two balloon creation. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is make the stem. So you'll get a green balloon, such as this. Stretch it out. Now, for the stem, we're gonna blow it up and leave like probably about three inches at the end. So, ooh, pump it up. About like that. See, burp it. Tie it off. Okay, now this is going to be pretty much the same thing as the first sword that I showed you. Very simple. So you're going to bend it one way, bend it the other way. Just have a little zigzag there. Then you pinch it in the middle and twist it. Give it a couple of twists there. And then what you have are little leaves on your stem. See? Two leaves. And then up here, now this is the only tricky part. This is hard to explain, you just have to kind of get a feel for it. You're gonna wanna get some of the air from here into the tip. So you just use both hands and squeeze the air up like this. See, so that the gap goes in between instead. You wanna squeeze a little bit back out because we want just kind of a round ball on the top like this, cut like that. So see, it ends up like this. Because this is gonna be the stem, these are the leaves, and then this is gonna be the bulb. So you want to try to get it to look just about like that. So it just takes a couple of minutes. Just hopefully you'll get a feel for it. Just use both hands and just squeeze that air up, kind of using your bottom hand to block the air from escaping back down and just squeezing it up into the tip. So once you have that, then you're going to make the petals. So just get a pretty color. Let's see, I'm going to use orange for now. It doesn't really matter. Stretch it out. Then you're going to pump it up all the way, almost all the way. You're going to leave probably about like a little centimeter so that you have room at the end to tie it to the other end. So let it a little bit out in a burp and see you have a little bit left here so that you can tie it to this other end, okay? So let a little bit out, tie it off. There you go. 
Now you're going to take either end and tie them together. So take that little bit that you left and just tie them together in a knot. And like this. So then you have it like, like this. Now you're going to take either end, make it, get it where it's even like this, and then take this part and twist. Get it so that you have it like this, sort of an eyeball shape. Okay. Now hold it together. And you want to get as close to the center as you can, right about here, and you're going to twist. Okay. So now you have goggles. Boom. Now fold it together. Hold this part with one hand. Then you'll take the other hand, other end, wrap your hand around it all the way. And now you push them together. Now, don't be scared, it won't pop. Actually, it might, but you'll live. Uh, so push it together. Usually it doesn't. Take it with one hand, like this. See this? And then you twist it around in the center. Give it a couple of twists. And you'll end up like this. You have four little flower petals there, see? Then you take your stem that you already made, and this little loose part here, the skinny part, you just take that and you just stick it into the gap, the joints, I guess, of the petals. So you just take it like this and just whoop, put it right in there. Okay, so now you have this. Now you can give it a little bit of a bend here in the stem to make it look a little bit cuter, like it's reaching for the sun. See, turn it around a little bit. And voila, you have a beautiful flower. Um, ah, oh, not again. Hold on, where did I go? Okay, a flower. So, hopefully that wasn't too painful. Hopefully you can kind of figure it out. Um, if you need help, give me a call. I don't know how much help I can be over the phone with balloon twisting, but I think you can figure it out. And you can also look on YouTube. There are a lot of good instructionals on there, but that's where I learned, so hopefully I, you know, translated sufficiently. Um, okay, thank you very much for watching. Look forward to working at the party with you. All right, bye. We're stopped. Aha, bye.